Science estimates that life on Earth began around 6,000 million years ago with the first living beings swimming in their primeval sea. Since then, evolution has created an extraordinary variety of plant and animal species, an amazing spectrum of very different forms and designs which nonetheless all obey certain basic rules. All the animals and plants we can see today are victors in the struggle for survival, a struggle in which many others have been left by the wayside. There is not a single one, however insignificant it may seem, that is not a master at something. The game of life has absolute, unbending rules, the laws that govern natural selection. Every change introduced by the genes is carefully examined to determine whether this particular variation makes the species more or less competitive. In time, the evolutionary lines that don't work will die out, while those that introduce improvements to the original model pass on these advantages to their descendants and so survive. As simple and as complicated as that. However, everything comes at a price. This anteater is the best at what he does, but he would be incapable of eating anything else. He now depends completely on ants and termites. The snakes adapted by losing their legs, but in exchange they gained a series of advantages that have made them a highly successful group. Once a given path is chosen, there is no going back, and often a simple change in the surroundings can leave entire lineages of animals stuck in a dead end. The cheetah is the fastest, but it had to reduce the size of its claws and now it would be unable to kill a buffalo. Curiously, some small snakes could because they invented powerful venoms. In this arms race, only one branch chose to invest all its energies in a single organ, the creative brain. Over time, with its capacity to invent, it learned to imitate the weapons of all the other animals and came to rule over the earth. Now this same mental capacity that brought success runs the risk of turning into its worst nightmare. Only one animal on the entire earth is capable of conquering paradise, making it his home, and then turning it into hell. And the game is by no means over.